So hello and welcome to a new series for me now This is not the Idiot's Guide profile, it's another profile I, I'm actually running as well So that in mind now The main aim of this series is to show you the different special transport routes And the loads available All the trucks I'll be using which is one of everything available in the standard game they all have the highest power engines available in them and they're all equipped with eight and fuller 18 speed gearboxes now some of the trucks have retarders some haven't and the customization on the trucks does vary so bear that in mind and today's load is the turnkey house construction and starting up in washington and i'll do special transport routes in each state so today's route is from Spokane to Grand Coulee so and I'll just click on that and it will show you a picture of what we carry now the special transport jobs when you start them and go and take them the place where you're picking them up at your driving hours are restored to the full 14 hours and also your fuel tank is filled as well up to its maximum capacity the fuel refill for special transport is free so there's a variety of loads available in special transports and i shall try and go through them all but there's one that's rarer than any other but we'll cover that when we get to it so further ado let's get this job started None of the trucks I'm going to be using on this profile has many miles on it because fell in, fell out of love with multiplayer and I sold all the trucks I had on the profile at one time and Get ready to turn left. when he decided to go turn left. back convoy, which I've done a few convoys with Wee Stevie B at one time, Oddball and race him so get ready to turn left uh, that persuaded me to go back on with them and convoy why I uh, start the profile again so turn left. seen any of the recent streams you might have seen well in the idiot's guide you know, the Peter built I haven't showed on them but it's been upgraded since you've seen it last. Same as the 389, which is one of the, the test video that had its engine upgraded and things as well. So, is now Go straight on. special transport to our speed limited at the moment. We can go 35, but the maximum speed which will let you go at is actually 40 miles an hour when you're out of the town area. So, for these jobs, they normally allow you plenty of time to do them. So, go straight on. Driving hours shouldn't be an issue. Then some of these jobs there is testing areas and turn right. And that's so be aware of that narrow turns, tight turns, etc. So these recordings are unedited, so you're saying what's happening as I'm doing the job. So if I make a mistake. You shall see it. I'm aiming for one shot recordings if you know what I mean by that all the way through where I've not previously recorded it, done it. So. Keep left. 
you basically on these jobs just follow the instructions what come up on screen and follow the escort vehicle and you should be fine apart from some of the turns but, uh, this truck is the Kenworth T680 there's three cabin choices available with it there's a duty cab and two different options for a sleeper on it engine ranges in these days use the Cummins engine or the MX which is Packard's old engines gearbox is the 6, 7 and 10 speed Allinsons there's 10 speed 8 and fuller, 13 speed 8 and fuller and 18 speed 8 and fuller all available with or without retarder so this one has a retarder on it but a few of the trucks I have haven't chassis is uh, this one's the 6x2 and 6x4 and there's short chassis for the duty cab and the sleeper cabs use a long chassis and there's varying fuel tank capacities on the trucks as well so. the steering, i said there's no mods on this profile the steering wheel is from the SCI DLC so the paint jobs I'm on got on the truck some are standard building game right. and, and then exit show up and paint job DLCs exit This load is 20 tonnes so there's no reason why this load cannot be done with a smaller engine truck. Now I have adjusted the seating position in this truck to how I like these to be set just about so some of the trucks the seating position is actually better than others in them so I don't have much control over when these jobs are actually taking place because if you've got to take simulator on and things you haven't it does reset your driving hours and uh, full 14 and you do set off with full tank so not in mind where stations when you're on special transports you don't get called into them Now doing the special transports there is a couple of achievements you can earn. There's one if you check one of everything available. Special transport DLC. And one is if you travel all the routes that's available in whatever if you've got all the DLCs you have to do all the special transports available it's basically do the routes available for what you put in the game map wise 
my standard SES game. The I ought currently recording on all the map DLCs in the game, so I've got Washington, Oregon, New Mexico, as well as California, Nevada and Arizona. So Some of these routes are longer than others again but this isn't the shortest one but it's by far from the longest one Now throughout this series I will be using some of the trucks more than once but I will cycle through all the five the T680, the W900, the Peter Bill 389, the Peter Bill 579 and the Volvo VNL because there is more than five special transport routes so Hood mirrors, I don't have hood mirrors on many of my trucks and I forgot that this one actually has them on. There's a reason why if you're on a low shen PC like I am, the hood mirrors can actually reduce the amount of FPS you actually get. Yeah, the uh, fatigue simulator is actually switched off but Play with special Get transport. Right. What happens with those? You know, because if you're on multiplayer, the way it works right. is you can't actually rest like you can in the single player. And my finds are actually switched on, so. Some days you'll find this, some jobs you do they are, are actually a lot better behaved than others so... Keep right and then continue straight on. Go straight now, on come up to traffic lights and they're on red you don't get fined for going through them because you're under escort so
And economy, uh, I'm not even going to compare that with these lords because some are heavier than others. Um, and I've forgotten if this one's on US, miles per gallon or Imperial. Because there is a difference there because a US gallon is smaller than an Imperial one. So we're nearly at the drop off now. Turn right. Now, parking these, it doesn't matter what you have it set on, you just drive to wherever the box is that it wants you to put them in. It's all over. In this case, it's between Playster and Sun and Coastline Mining, so... And we'll just conclude the job. So and that concludes uh that uh, special transport route and load so shall see you in the next one where I shall be driving one of my other trucks so 10 10 for now stay safe on them roads don't have too many accidents and goodbye